Hello, today what we're going to do is we are going to look at fractions and decimals. And we're going to just start learning how to relate fractions to decimals. So you can see fractions here, decimals. So let's start beginning. So just a quick reminder of some of the things we learned last class. First thing is the number in front of the decimal place, just a reminder, it's called the ones. The number just after the decimal place is called tenths. So don't get that confused with tens, it's tenths. The one beside it is what we call the hundredths with a th at the end. And the last decimal place here we call thousandths. So that's what we learned in our last lesson. And we're going to just kind of pick this up and move a little farther. Today what we're going to do is we're really going to focus on using thousandths grids to help us. And all thousandths grids are is basically just a grid that is divided up into a thousand chunks. So what we're going to start doing is if you have a column, so I'm going to draw a line down here. Column means up and down. So you can kind of see how there's this dark black line here. This would be a column. So you can see how many columns are in our grid. And if we start counting here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if there's ten columns, one column is equal to one tenth of the whole grid. And what we can do is we can write this value for every single column that is colored in on a thousandths grid. So zero decimal one or one tenth is what that looks like on a thousand grid. It's one column colored in. So if I take my highlighter out here, I'm just going to color that in. So if you have this much, sorry, I'm outside the lines on a couple spots here, you can see one column is equal to one tenth or zero decimal one. The next thing is, if we look at a square, so when I say a square, I mean this amount. Okay, How many squares fit into this whole thousand grid. And if you start counting them, you're going to notice that you've got 10 going down, 10 going across. So if you took the time to count all these big size squares like that, here I'll get my highlighter out again. All those size squares, what you're going to end up noticing here is there is actually... one hundred of them so one square is one hundredth or we can write it as zero decimal zero one the last thing is we're gonna look at one rectangle get my little black marker out here here I'm just in this top right corner if I color it in that's one rectangle how many little rectangles are there well there's a thousand altogether so if you have one of these that is equal to one thousandth of the whole thousandths grid, or also zero decimal zero one. So let's go and try a couple questions and see if we can work this thousandths grid. So the first thing I want us to do here is we're going to try and color 750 out of a thousand. So there's a thousand different little squares in here, and we're going to cover 750 of them. So I'm going to get my highlighter out. Let's use red for this one, and I'm going to start by coloring in a whole column. So a whole column here is worth, if you remember, 0 decimal 1, or if we counted these up, there's 10 in each one, so 10, 10 in this square, 100, or 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, there's a hundred in here. So we need 750 of these. So I actually need seven columns here. So let's quick do that. So there's two. There's three.
There's four. There's five. Almost there. Six. Seven. So we've got, we said there was a hundred in each column. So this is like having zero decimal one here, zero decimal one there, zero decimal one there, zero decimal one, zero decimal one, zero decimal one. And now what we're going to do is each of these squares here, I'm going to get my blue marker out for this, each of these squares have 10. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to color in here. So there's 10. There's 20, there's 30, there's 40, there's 50. So this is what we've got here. We've got seven columns, we've got five blue squares, and in each of these, each column's worth 100, each blue square's worth 10. So you can see we've actually made 750 out of 100. Now the neat thing is with this is we can actually now write a decimal. So we're gonna start off by writing this decimal in thousands. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remember every column is worth a 0.1. So we've got seven columns, so that would mean as a decimal, we'd write that is zero decimal seven because we have seven point ones. Now, just looking back to the previous slide, you'll remember that each of these squares is worth zero decimal zero one. So we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, We've got four, and we've got five of these. So therefore, 0 decimal zero 01 in the hundreds column, we've got five. Now, we don't have any extra little thousand spots just by themselves. So what we do is we would write a decimal in the thousands, or we put a zero in the thousand spots. So in the tenths, we've got seven because we had seven columns. In the hundredths, we used five squares. So we've got five there. And in the thousandth spot, where we didn't have any individual thousands, so therefore there's zero in that one. Okay? So that's a nice way how to do it. Now with this question, because there is a zero in the thousands, we could actually write this just like this and ignore the zero at the end. And then we have an answer that is in the hundredths spot. So right as a decimal to the hundredths, should actually have had a TH on the end, and you can see we can write it just with the ending with five in the hundredth spot because it's tenths, hundredths there. Let's move to the next slide. Try another one. All right, so it says color zero decimal eight or eight tenths on a on a thousands grid. So just a reminder, each column, so remember a column is going up and down, is worth zero decimal one. So if I take my red highlighter here, I'm just gonna color my column up and down. Okay, not bad. So zero decimal one, I have zero decimal eight of these. So I'm gonna make eight Columns. There's a two, there's three, there's four, there's five, six, seven, and last one is I'll try and fill in some of these white spots. You can see that's looking not too bad. So I've just colored in my thousandths grid, and we're at zero. This would mean 
0 decimal 8 because each one of these columns is 0.1 so because we have 8 columns this would add up to 0.8 you can see there and there and there and there so it says in this case let's write it in the hundreds so basically hundreds would be how many of these squares are being used so you can see here we've got 10 being used here 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 out of 100 so therefore we can write the answer as 0 decimal 80 and it ends in the 100th spot now how many individual squares are used then we're actually writing it thinking of this as a thousands so you can see in this case we've got 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so each column has a hundred little rectangles in it so you can see a hundred two hundred three four hundred five hundred six hundred seven hundred eight hundred so we actually have eight hundred out of a thousand so we can think of it as eight hundred thousands you can see it ends in the third decimal place so this would be thousands well i hope this gets you started on using thousands grid and gives you an idea of why this can be helpful thanks for listening see you later